ृष्णपादाम नमाम विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतमय श्रीमद्वेदात स्वामी नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे नृशेषाशी पाश्चात्य महावरण्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय विष्णुना कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम वैदान कृष्ण हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधु जनकपति गोपेशा गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्त भक्तकांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी शाम सुते देवी प्रणमाते वाचा कल्पतरुद्देश कृपा सिंधु पति वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीद्वैत गदाधर शिवा साधु गौर भक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Yeah, you can be muted and you can just recite the shlokas. So this is not just for test, but to purify our consciousness and to bring auspiciousness. <laughs> ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवा शिष्यते ईशावास्यदगत जगत्न तेन भुंजीता पृथक शुद्धन so we have completed till this where the three purushas were described the shirodakshay vishnu is the super soul of the in, in, in the individual living entities and the garbhodakshay vishnu is super soul for the universe and karano karano karanodakshay vishnu as or mahavishnu as super soul of the material world Uh, like yeah, especially in this next two verse, in this verse and in the next verse, so mm -hmm. Prabhupada may say that you no, know, the impersonalist here generally Prabhupada by impersonalist he refers to Brahma Vajis, mm -hmm. means who's mm -hmm. for them they want to attain Brahma Jyoti, mm -hmm. and they they have understanding of Bhagavan, but they are more attracted to Brahma Jyoti. Yes, they don't have any misconception like the Advaita Vedas, like you no know, that uh, the Bhagwan is a is a, when Brahman comes in contact with mode of goodness, then Bhagwan is formed. So like that, they don't have any misconception. But sometimes we may see like you no, know, okay, how they are attracted to some light or you no. Know. One thing is we don't have that detachment which they have. Hmm? we cannot stay in a forest and you no know, eat only kandamool and you no know, we cannot spend whole day reading shastra or doing meditation or you know observing the nature we cannot means we don't have that capacity in all so we cannot understand their you no know, psychology and how they are so detached and why they are desiring only brahma jyoti but if you see in bhagavad gita krishna actually appreciates them and says they are very dear to me tesham gyan nitya yukta ek bhaktir vishishyate priyo hi gyani no tyartam aham sa chamama priya so that's why we should not deride them we can try to understand okay why they are like that as whatever proper describes in you we can understand and appreciate them 
sometimes it may be possible they may be more culturally they may be more well behaved and uh, more detached more self sense controlled you know then as though we may be more our goal may be more higher at least in terms of rasa than them okay today who will want to read okay yes 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 you can read the yoga system uh hari krishna prabhu ji my voice is clear yes 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 yeah the yoga system teaches the serious student to meet the vishnu tattvas after going beyond the 24 material elements of the cosmic creation the culture of uh, empiric philosophy helps one realize to impersonal brahma jyoti which is the uh, glaring effulgence of transcendental body of lord shri krishna that the brahma jyoti is krishna's effulgence is confirmed in bhagavad gita as well as brahma sanita yasya prabhava prabhavato jagadanda koti 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 ashesh vasudadi vibhuti vasudadi vibhuti vinam tad brahm nishkalam ananta ashesh bhutam Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bhajami. In the millions and the millions of universe, there are innumerable planets and each and every one of them is different from the other by its cosmic constitution. All of these planets are situated in the corner of Brahma Jyoti. The, this Brahma Jyoti is but the personal effulgence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Govinda, whom I worship. This mantra from Brahma Samhita is spoken from the platform of factual realization of the absolute truth, and the Shruti mantra and of Sri Vishwanishad under discussion confirm this mantra as the process of realization. The Vishwanishad mantra is simply prayer to Lord to remove the Brahma Jyoti so that one can see His real face. This Brahma Jyoti effulgence is described in detail in several mantras of Manduk Manduk Upanishad. Okay, just a minute. So here, Prabhu is talking about here empiric philosophy. Empiric philosophy is basically jnana, jnana yoga. Empiric philosophy that is jnana yoga, and yeah, here Prabhu is using this verse mainly, you know, this thing. The main thing is yesya prabha. So to indicate that Prabhu is using this verse and quoting the entire thing. Of course, this verse is spoken by Lord Brahma. who is seeing krishna directly and uh, this is a glorification of brahma to krishna so that way that's why proper is saying here it's uh, it's spoken from the platform of factual realization of the absolute truth so brahma lord brahma has you know realized it and that's why he is saying and it all this is also the current verse we are discussing that also is uh, The de devotee is saying the devotee means is more like a jnana yogi sadaka or something. So jnana yogi, so he is seeing the Lord and he is saying, uh, "Please remove your Brahman attendance." Yeah. So that that obstacle, Br Lord Brahma did not have. So only this person is there. So he is like he is like a jnana yogi becoming a bhakta kind of thing or desiring to become bhakta. So that's why he told it's like a. Confirms as a process of realization. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, different verses are quoted, which are also like describing Brahma Jyoti. Maybe I'll read it. Hidden my pareko she virajam Brahma nishkalam tad shubram jyoti sham jyotis tad yat atma vidho vidho na tatra suryo bati na chandra tara kam. ृतमृत Brahmai Vedam Vishram Idam Varishtam. Okay, can read the translation. Uh, in the spiritual realm, uh, beyond the material covering, the, is the ultimate Brahman effulgence, unlimited, which unlimited. is 
unlimited sorry unlimited brahman effulgent which is free from material contamination that effulgent white light is understood by the transcendentalist to be the light of the all lights in the in that realm there is no need of sunshine moonshine fire or electricity for uh, illumination indeed whatever whatever illumination appears in the material world is only reflection of supreme illumination that brahman in, is in the front and in back in the north south east and west and also overhead and below in other words the supreme brahman effulgence spread throughout both the material and spiritual skies okay thank you so yeah the brahma jyoti is a effulgence of the lord and it is spread like how we see we have sunlight of course in the material world the problem is the sunlight only we can access only during the day and in the night it becomes dark but uh, uh, in the spiritual world it is always you no know, it is the effulgence is there and uh, so you can say that brahma jyoti is something like sunlight of the spiritual world but not exactly like sunlight but uh, how the function which sunlight does the same thing it does there and uh, it is also saying light of all lights because brahma jyoti is non different from absolute truth and absolute truth is the source of the sun and moon in the material world so that way uh, that's why that statement it's like you no know, whatever illumination appears in the material world is only a reflection of the supreme illumination Yeah, in other words, that supreme Brahman effulgence spreads throughout both the material and spiritual space. That's what he's saying. Okay. Yes, bro. Again, can read. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, perfect knowledge means knowing Krishna as the root of this Brahman, Brahman effulgence. This knowledge can be gained from the such scripture as Shrimad Bhagavatam, which perfectly elaborate the science of Krishna. In Shrimad Bhagavatam, the author Shila Vyasdev has established that one will describe the supreme truth as Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagwan according to one's realization to him, of him. Uh, Shila Vyasdev never stated that the supreme truth is a jeev, an ordinary living entity. the living entity should never be considered the all powerful supreme truth if he were the supreme he would not need to pray to the lord to remove his dazzling cover so that the living entity could see his real face the yeah, proper is refuting that advaita concept that uh, the jiva is also brahma aham brahmasmi devi interpreted see that so yeah so, so means even shrimad bhagavatam also acknowledges that uh, uh, one can realize one may realize only brahman or one may realize parmatma or one may realize bhagwan hmm? so it's not like only one everyone should realize bhagwan or something like that okay okay you can read this yeah the conclusion is that one who has no knowledge of potencies of supreme truth will realize the impersonal brahman similarly when one realizes the material potencies of lord but has little or no information of spiritual potencies he attain parmatma realization thus both brahman and parmatma realize of absolute truth are partial realizations however when one realizes the supreme personality of god at shri krishna in full potency after the removal of the hiranyamayana patra one realize vasudeva sarvamiti bhagavad gita 7.19 so shri krishna who is known as vasudev is everything brahman parmatma and bhagwan he is bhagwan the root and the brahman and parmatma are his branches okay okay thank you so okay let me make that small part
In one sense, if potencies means it can it will imply also activities. Because somebody has potency means he will do something with that potency. So so Material potencies means he will do material activities. It means material activities means not like us, but the Lord does creation, maintenance, destruction. You can also say material pastimes, you can say. And Bhagavan, he has spiritual potencies means he does spiritual pastimes. Means in the pastimes in the spiritual world like that. If you see the description of Brahman, this is like you no know, description in Bhagavad Gita. Amritasya avyayasya cha, shashvatasya cha, dharmasya, sukasya, ikantikasya. So in this, there is no any description of any activity. It's just a description of what it is. But uh, there is no description of what it does. So that's why there is no knowledge of the potencies. Now if you see, this is uh, the description of Paramatma. As uh, in one sense, definition of Paramatma. Padrishta anumanta cha, bharta, bhokta, maheshwaraha. Paramatmeti chapyukta dehesmin purusha para. So here the activities are there, but they are activities related to the uh, jiva in the material world. So that's why it is material potencies. Upadrishta and Anumanta means uh, he's, he oversees things and Anumanta. Anumanta means he permits the activities of the jiva based on his karma. So this is how. Uh, Paramatma is described. But if you see Bhagavan, uh, this is like no, the description of Brahma Samhita. Chinta, Mani, Prakara, Sadma, Sakalpa, Vriksha, Laksha, Vriteshu, Surabir, Abhipala, Yantam. So Surabir, Abhipala, Yantam. So this is the pastimes of the Lord with his devotees, the cows in Vrindavan. Lakshmi, Sahasya, Shatasam, Brahma, Sevya, Manam. So he accepts the service of from the goddess of fortune. Lakhs, you know, thousands of goddess of fortune. So this way, your spiritual potencies are described. You can, uh, yeah, you can take around maybe three four minutes, and if you can, you know, try to recollect some similar verses, which may describe you no know, material potencies of the Lord, and or spiritual potencies of the Lord. So you'll find in Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Samhita, and Bhagavatam. Even if you can quote a small line of the verse or translation, you can search also means you can take around four or five minutes and yeah, even if you recollect wrongly also no problem, but yeah, that should give some idea. Okay. Yes. Material potencies generally means uh, indicates creation, destruction, maintenance, like that. Of the material world. So that description where in you no know, such verses are there. Okay. Yes. Yes.
Okay, for for material potencies, any verses? Ravi, can I say? Yes, yes. That Brahma Samhita Ishwar Param Krishna Sachidananda Vidra Anadi Adir Govinda Sarva Karan Karan. Okay, in that what part is indicating material potency? Sarva Karan Karan. No? Mm, okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Yes. yes, cause okay. of all the problems. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, next. Okay, Sony Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Vendor Pranam. Prabhuji, in Srimad Bhagavad Gita 7.4, uh, Krishna says, Bhoomi Rupo, Nalo Bayu, Kamano, Buddhi Revach, Ahankaram, Itiyam, Me, Bhinna, Prakriti, Rishtada. So, okay. in that, uh, Krishna says that uh, hmm. all these are material elements. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, this is more energies, not even activities. Good, more appropriate. Okay. Next. Okay, Muskan Mataji. Prabhuji, in 9.10, uh, this, hmm. this material nature, which is one of my energies, is working under my direction. Okay, good. My Adyakshi and Prakriti. Good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Shrikant Pro. One of the words Krishna says, Aham Smurti Jnana Mapohanam Chai give the. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, Pro Avatari Chitan Pro. Some of the verses they apply to both spiritual and material potential. For yeah. example, Aham Sarvatya Prabhavo. That is for okay. material as well as spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yes, then yes. Postaram Yakya Tabasam Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. Yes, yes, please. Very good. Okay. Yes, yes, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Prabhuji. Okay, yes, Raj Prabhu. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. So, there is one verse in the ninth chapter Gati Bharta Prabhu Sakshi Nivasam Sharanam Suhat okay. Prabhu Pralayo Sanam Nidhanam Bijayam. In okay. that verse, Krishna says, I am the all, whatever you can imagine, Mata, Pita, Pitama, I am the all okay. of this universe. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now for the second one. Second one, spiritual potencies, pastimes. Anyone else? Can I say, Puruji? Yes, yes. Can we... Are you lifting the Govardhan hill? Ah, means we need a verse actually. Actually, a verse. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, yes, Raj Prabhu. Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yeah. So, there is one verse. Na tad bhasate suryo, na shashanko, na pavaka, mm -hmm. yad gatvana nivartante tad dhama parma mama. Krishna said, uh, in my spiritual abode, there is no sunlight and moonlight. My effulgence is in uh, enlightened days. Okay, and, but this uh, is, uh, yeah, okay, good. But this is a description of the spiritual world. Not There is no description of Lord. Okay. So, uh, another verse is, uh, Krishna said, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, I think it's a spiritual potency. Because mm -hmm. Krishna says, Shipram Bhauti Dharmatma Shashvatam Shanti Gachati Kontya Prati Jani Ha Name Bhakta Pranashati. Okay, if this we is worship, good. Yeah, if we worship good. the Krishna, he remove our all sins. Because no okay. demigod can ensure that he can remove the all sins apart okay. from Krishna. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Spiritual potency, Prabhuji, no? That which yeah. reflects the spiritual potency. Yeah. Yantra Rudhani Maya. Uh, no, that is uh, the material thing. Right? Okay, Avatari Chetan Prabhu. Yes. Sure, question. Mamai Vamsu Jeeva Loke Jeeva Buddha Okay. Living beings are his part and parcel. Sarvasa Chaham Rajasandi Vishto Vatan Smurti Jana Mapohanam Chaham. Okay, that is more material, but. Uh, Spiritual means it may be more okay. related to devotees kind of thing. Okay. 
सर्वधर्मान प्रत्यय जय मामे कम शरणम रजो हम ओके यस 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 वेरी गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी वेल नोन एंड गुड वन ओके सोनी माता जी ये सब जी श्रीमद भगवत गीता टेन पॉइंट टू न मे विदु स्तुर गणा प्रभव न महर्षय अहम आदि ही देवा महर्षि सर्वशाह सो इन दिस कृष्ण से सोर्स ऑफ ऑल द डेमिंग मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड लाइक मेटेरियल प्रभु जी सेजेस डोंट कम इन डिवोटी no sir. they are not devotees means sages are like part of the material world they have a function in the material world something like that okay yeah. okay sages means they teach knowledge scripture scriptures about dharma that also can be sages uh, okay. okay like yeah there are other verses like yoga shem baham yaham okay shikan to sir didn't us so uh... यशराजू से uh hari krishna prabhu ji uh i remember one more verse but i don't know full i remember i don't know the full verse the aho vakiyam stan kala kutam yes yes okay good so yes 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 amrita mata ji prabhu it's come paritranaya sadhu na vinashaya chadishtam okay yeah okay good okay thank you thank you very much yeah so when these verses they indicate in some way you can say only material things they may indicate parmatma and if both are there then krishna actually okay okay ashras pro can read in the bhagavad gita Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, six point forty six to forty seven, there is a comparative analysis of three types of transcendentalists: the worshipper of impersonal Brahman Gyanis, the worshipper of Paramatma feature yogis, and the devotee of Sri Krishna Bhaktas. It is stated that uh, it is stated there that the Gyanis, those are who cultivated Vedic knowledge, are better than ordinary fruitive workers. that are the yogis are still greater than the gyanis and that among all yogis those are constant constantly serve the lord with all their energies are the topmost in summary the philosopher is better than a laboring man a mystic is superior to a philosopher and all the mystics yogis he who follows bhakti yoga constantly engaging in the service of the lord is the highest she should be should direct us toward this perfect perfection yeah yes this verse we will study in deeply in sixth chapter when it comes so that prepares all the background of what is gyana yoga and you know, all these things are well defined but yeah, in one sense if you see the karma yoga only he engages the body and that to his conception of the lord is uh, more like vishwaru vishwarupa or at most brahman and uh, he doesn't have proper conception as a karma yoga but he has conception that he is atma and uh, he follows the vedas the gyana yoga he has the conception of brahman and uh, he is detached he, and uh, he follows strictly sanyas order etc but yoga uh, a, a yogi he his mind is also controlled a gyani he is mainly uses his intelligence and uh, he doesn't do any work with the body generally he avoids and uh, yogi he uh, meditates he focuses his mind also on on the absolute truth intelligence as well as mind and uh, he is he has likely he has a personal conception of the parmatma the absolute truth and then the bhakta he engages both body mind words even the heart 
so that's why and he is always engaged in the service of the lord so that this verse also proper quotes often no yogina mati sarvesha mat kati na antaratmana shaddavan majacha yamam samaye yukta tamo mata he is the best of all members okay okay so we'll go to the next verse okay you can repeat after me okay usham ekarshe yama surya prajapatya usham ekasse yama surya prajapatya yuha rasmin samuha yuha rasmin samuha yuha rasmin samuha tejo yate roopam kalyan tamam tejo yate roopam kalyan tamam tatte pashyami yo asavasau purusha soham asmi tatte pashyami so sa asavasau purusha soham asmi the translation is oh my lord o primeval philosopher maintainer of the universe o regulating principle destination of the pure devotees well wisher of the progenitors of mankind please remove the effulgence of your transcendental rays so that i can see your form of bliss you are the eternal supreme personality of god like unto the sun as am i here if you see yeah, surya is the destination of the suris great devotees and yama is the regulating principle means yama in one sense is conducting all the law of karma that's why is a regulative principle I means he is giving the uh, punishment to those who are committing sin and all that and prajapatis the just a minute prajapatis means uh, yeah, those who like daksha and you know, others who actually create give bodies to the species so they are the prajapatis here lord is also described in that way because he is the source of those na- those uh those entities so that's why lord is lord also can sometimes be described like that okay shrikant prabhu some question ji who are saying this uh prayers this is a rishi uh this is a this is a description by one rishi of course there is a in bhagavatam there is also a description of by manu swayambhu manu also this is one rishi saying to another that uh, i have don't have idea i to find out but it's like a one rishi offering prayers mostly it's like a gyan yogi kind of thing gyan mishra bhakta kind of thing okay okay yashraj bro has some question uh hari krishna bro ji mm-hmm. so the may uh, mayavadi said that soham soham so is it come from this word i don't think so i need no, to check in, in yeah in this word there is a line yeah, so there, ham, there is soham is there but uh, i need to check from where exactly the that word coming from may not be from this because the context clearly says no it's a personal lord so we need to see i need i'll check and maybe next class i want to okay yes bro you can read the purport yeah the sun and its rays are one and the same quantity quantity qualitatively similarly similarly the lord the living entities are one and same in quality the sun is one but the molecules of sun rays are in in numerable innumerable the sun rays constitute part of the sun and the sun and its rays conjointly constitute the complete sun within the sun it is reside the sun god and similarly within the supreme spiritual planet golok vrindavan from which the brahma jyoti effulgence is uh, emanating the lord enjoys his eternal past time as verified in the brahma samhita chintamani praksha ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಗೋಲೋಕ್ 
ओके ब्रह्मज्योति ब्रह्मज्योति इज डिस्क्राइब इन ब्रह्म संहिता एज द रेस एमिनेटिंग फ्रॉम सुप्रीम स्पिरिचुअल प्लैनेट गोलोक वृंदावन जस्ट एज द सन रेस एमिनेट फ्रॉम द सन ग्लोब अंटिल वन सप्रेस surpasses the glass of brahma jyoti one cannot receive information of the land of the lord the impersonalist philosopher blind uh, blinded as they are the dazzling brahma jyoti can realize neither the flag factual abode of the lord nor his transcendental form limited by their pool found of the knowledge such impersonalist thinkers cannot understand the all blissful transcendental form of sri krishna in this prayer there for sri ishop nisha uh, petitions petition the petitions the lord to remove the effulgent rays of brahma jyoti so that the pure devotee can see all blissful transcendental form okay by so yeah, yeah. Uh, so blinded by brahma jyoti means they are like attracted to that so they don't so much uh, are interested in knowing about the lord and the abode of the lord etc and even at the perfection level also they attain brahma jyoti and they are like merged with the brahma jyoti so then they are they are not interested uh, to uh, see the abode of the lord know about the abode of the lord etc okay by realizing the impersonal by realizing the impersonal brahma jyoti one experiences the auspicious aspect of the supreme and by realizing the parmatma or all preventing feature of all supreme pervading pervading pervading, pervading pervading features of the supreme one experience an even more auspicious enlightenment by the meeting of personality of godhead himself face to face the devotee experiences the most auspicious feature of the supreme since he is addressed as the uh, primeval philosopher and the maintainer and well wisher of the universe the supreme truth cannot be impersonal this is the verdict of shri ishopanishad the word purusha maintainer is especially significant and although uh, the lord maintains all being he specifically maintains his devotee after surpassing the impersonal brahma jyoti and seeing the personal aspect of the lord and his most auspicious eternal form the devotee realizes the absolute truth is full okay so yeah the absolute truth in full means the devotee is able to experience both sat chit and ananda so here see even attaining brahman is also auspicious it's not uh, something very low or something you cannot say it is also auspicious Kalyana Tamam. Kalyana means Kalyana Tamam means I think it's most auspicious. That okay. You Kalyana Tara, Kalyana Tamma, Kalyana. Okay. So Kalyana Tara means more auspicious. Okay. You can read the next paragraph in his okay. Bhagavad Sundar. In in his Bhagavad Sundar, Sri Shri Lajiva Goswami states the complete conception of absolute truth is realized in the personality of Godhead. Uh, because he is almighty and possesses full transcendental potencies uh, possesses full transcendental potencies the full potency of absolute truth is not realized in brahma jyoti therefore brahman realizes is only partial realization of personality of godhead o learned sages the first syllable of the word bhagwan bha who uh, has two meaning uh, the first is one who is fully maintained and the second is guardian the second syllable ga means guide leader or creator the syllable one indicates that every uh, yeah, every being lives in him and that he also lives in every being in other words the transcendental sound bhagwan represent infinite knowledge potency energy opulence strength and influence all without a tinge of material elaborate yeah, elaborate okay Yes, so transcendental potencies we discussed in the earlier verse also, like different verses we saw indicating spiritual potencies. Uh, and in principle, Lord has three spiritual potencies: uh, the Samvit Shakti, Sandini Shakti, and Ladini Shakti. Samvit Shakti is the knowledge potency, so that which uh, enables the jiva to perceive the Lord is Samvit potency, and uh, Sandini potency is the potency which is like 
takes care of all the dham, dham, paraphernalia of the Lord. All these things is uh, taken care by Sandini potency. Clothes of the Lord, ornaments of the Lord, all these are created by Sandini potency. And the Ladini potency is the one that produces bliss and also controls the, directs the pa pastimes of the Lord. And they all further subdivided into different uh, potencies, etc. So here, uh, Jeeva Goswami is def defining Bhagavan in a particular way. So, Ba refers to one who fully maintains her or the guardian, Bhat. Ga refers to guide, leader or creator. Vaan refers to every 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 being lives in, yeah, lives in him. Means everyone is dependent on him. Every jiva is dependent on him and he lives in every being. That refers to uh, he is conscious of every being or he is staying in every living being as Paramatma, like that. Otherwise, Prabhupada also gave the last definition as Bhaga means the six opulences, the all knowledge, he's all knowledgeable, he's all beautiful, he's all powerful, and he's all beautiful, all and he's all famous, he's he's very strong, and then yeah, he's renounced. So that's it. So that is Bhaga means opulences, one means one who possesses, one who possesses all the opulences in full. Okay, can read next. Hari Bol, you are there? Yes, sir. Uh, Hare Krishna. Sorry, yeah. Broji, my mic was muted. Yeah. Uh, so the Lord fully maintained his unalloyed devotees and he guided them uh, progressively on the path toward devotional perfection. As the leader of his devotee, he ultimately awards the desired result of devotional service by giving himself to them. The devotees of Lord see the Lord face to face by his causeless mercy. Thus, the Lord helps his devotee reach the su supermost spiritual planet, Golok Vrindavan. Being the creator, he can bestow all the necessary qualification upon his devotees so that they can ultimately reach him. The Lord is cause of all causes. In other words, since there is nothing that causes caused him, he is the original cause. Consequently, he enjoys his own self by manifesting his own internal potency. The external potency is not exactly manifested by him for he expand himself as the Purush, Pur, Purushas. 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 And it is uh, it is in this form that he maintains the features of, of the material manifestation. By such expansion, he creates, maintains, and annihilates the cosmic manifestation. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, like we saw the Purushavataras, the Mahavishnu, Garbodaksha Vishnu, Shirodaksha Vishnu. So, they deal with the material world. They create destroy and annihilate. So Garbhodakshayi Vishnu gives the power to Brahma to create and Mahavishnu only creates the universe. So and even like the super soul individually gives the ability to create, destroy, maintain for each the, the living entities. So in that way, Krishna is not directly involved in the management of the material world. He is only uh, performing the pastimes. Yeah. In the spiritual world and even when he descends to the material world, he is always absorbed in performing pastimes with his loving devotees. Okay, as Prabhupada told that uh, how Lord maintains his un unalloyed devotees and also Lord gives himself to his unalloyed devotees. So you will get many examples from C.C. Bhagavatam, pastimes of Krishna and uh, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord gives, giving himself means the Lord uh, submits to the desires of the, changes, bends himself to the uh, desires of the devotees. So that is that. So you can think about for some four minutes and five minutes and then we'll discuss.
Okay, so for the first one, Lord maintaining his unalloyed devotees. What is the question, Prabhuji? Like Lord maintaining unalloyed devotees means those who are like you no know, fully engaged in devotional service of the Lord. So Lord only cares for them. Brahmachari sannyasis. No, that is you cannot say like that. Always. From Shastra, it is written. Shastra. Okay, Sony Mataji, come to. Uh, Prabhuji, I have written four examples. You can tell me. Okay. So, one is of Pandavas during exile. Hmm. So, when uh, uh, some rishis came to them for uh, hmm. seva, like they were supposed to get the seva from them, at that hmm. time, Krishna helped them by giving them the Akshay Patra. And uh, uh, second no, example is of not Prasparala. Akshay Patra. Akshay Patra is given in a different context. Uh, the Akshay Patra doesn't come to help. So then Krishna actually comes to help. Duryodhana only sends uh, Durvasumani. So by that time, uh, Draupati has finished taking her meal. So before she, if, if she doesn't take any meal, then she can, then the Akshay Patra can supply. But once she finishes her meal, it cannot supply. So then Krishna just takes uh, some small shark stuck it stuck to Akshay Patra. So then he takes and because he's satisfied, they also get satisfied. All okay. the stages were yeah. satisfied. Okay. I forgot to no, uh, okay. Next. And uh, second example is of Prahlad Maharaj. So Prahlad Maharaj was totally absorbed in devotion. Hmm. So Krishna was taking care of you know how to protect him and how to maintain him because he was with the uh, yeah. uh, Asuras. So still okay. was maintained. Yeah. Yeah. Prahalad is described as Krishna Griha Grihita. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Amrita Mataji. Oh, Madhavendra Puri. Oh, yes. The past time of uh, Kir, uh, Kir. Gopal supplies the Kir. Yes. Okay. Next. Okay. Just a minute. Yes. Before this. Okay. Next, uh, okay, Shikan Pro. Uh, Sudama, we need like Lord mm. and Lord had provided all right. Yes, so, yes, good, good example. So, Tukaram Maharaj. Okay, Tukaram Maharaj, good, thank you. Okay, Yashraj Pro. Uh, Hare Krishna Proji. Yeah. So, Bilva Mangal Thakur, after mm. when he got blind, so Krishna mm. maintained all his whatever he needs. Okay. So I heard in story. Mm. So, he's finished. Okay, thank you. Nice examples. Okay, Avatari, Avatari Chaitanya Prabhu. During Mahaprakash Lila, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed several instructions of saving Gangadas uh -huh. and his. Yes, yes. Thakur, he himself came and protected Shraddha yes, Thakur yes, when he was yes. being beaten. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Yes. Prabhu, there are two very similar stories of Gita yeah. Panda and Arjun Acharya, where okay, okay. they did yeah. not have food and Krishna carried. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. When Raghunath Das Goswami is also there, once Radharani gives him the shade, when he's, and uh, Krishna protects him from tigers. Okay. Uh, now for the second one, uh, where Lord gives himself to his unalloyed devotees, means Lord like changes himself as per the devotee's wish. Okay. Can I answer, Prabhuji? Yes, yes. Shridhar Kola Vecha? Shridhar Kola Vecha in what sense? Uh, Lord asks him to uh, take any benedictions. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. Huh? Okay, uh, fine. He used to, Lord used to go to him to purchase the banana leaf. Hmm. So, uh, he says he, uh, Lord uh, invites him to among his devotees and tells him that uh, hmm. uh, today I'm going to introduce one of my such a wonderful devotee. Hmm. So then Lord asks him so many times what, what benedictions, what should I give? 
Yeah. Then at last he tells Lord that uh, uh, be peaceful and uh, if it pleases you, mm. I I wish that you should come as usually yeah. to take the banana leaves from me. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he always says that I remember that kind that form of you always in my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Sony Mataji. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, so, Bhakta Pundarik for him, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Krishna took the form of Bithal and uh, he waited for him till he finished the service of his parents. Okay. And another example is Yashoda Maya. Okay. So, with Yashoda Maya also, although he is. Uh, he cannot be tied by any uh, bond okay. bondages, but still, uh, because Yashoda Maya was in deep uh, frame with the uh, Lord and she wanted to enjoy that Vatsalya bhav, so he uh, got uh, bonded by her rope. Okay, okay, thank you. Yes, Amrita Mataji. Uh, Bali Maharaj, he became a uh, uh, part of the Maharaj. Yes, yes, Sutana yes. Okay, thank you, Mother. Uh, okay, Shrikant Pram. Prabhuji, uh, the Patsati, he gave himself, he okay. gave the driver's courage okay. and also broke his vow in the battlefield for his devotees. Okay, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, yes, Shraj Pram. Hare Krishna. So, Prabhuji, uh, this is uh, example from Rama and Hanumanji. Mm -hmm. Because when Hanuman uh, took the mountain, mm -hmm. after that when uh, Lakshman get healthy, so mm -hmm. after that Lord says, "I have nothing to give you, but I have okay. myself. Okay. So I am giving. Mm -hmm. So Hanuman, you are my very dear, near, dearest devotees. Mm -hmm. I am giving you myself. So at that okay. time, uh, uh, Lord Ram embraced the Hanuman mm -hmm. and. The uh, Lord uh, Hanuman uh, also crying just okay. because of joy. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <coughs> yeah, like so <coughs> in Chaitanya Lila, also many times, like Chaitan Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan, so always devotees used to stop him. No, be there for Dole Yatra, like that, be there for Vijay Dashmi, like that. They used to. And Lord always used to accept it, accept their wish. He used to stay back. Okay. Like in Mukundamala Sutra, it's told like, Shri Valla Beti Varadeti Daya Pareti Bhakta Priyeti Bhavaluntana Guru. Means, first is, Lord is very resourceful because He is the uh, husband of Goddess of Fortune. Shri Valla Beti Varadeti. He is charitably disposed. Like, like somebody may be uh, resourceful in the world, but they may not be charitably disposed. But Lord is charitably disposed. Varadeti. But he is Daya Pareti. Means he is not giving charity just for piety sake or something. But he is giving charity out of compassion. He is charitable also and he is also compassionate. And Bhakta Priyati. And especially his devotees are very dear to him. So, he is very compassionately disposed towards them. And Baba Luntana Kovidet. And he is able. He is rich, but he has that strength also to remove them, to free them from the bondage of the material world. So, Lord is competent also and he is also compassionate. So, that some sometimes people may be compassionate, but they may not be competent. But Lord is both co competent and compassionate. So that way, Lord can easily maintain us and He can all easily deliver us. Yes. So when we remind ourselves of these pastimes and of these qualities of Lord, we will be inspired to take more, more and more shelter of the Lord. Okay. Yes, yes, Shastra can read the living entities. The living entities are also differentiated expansions of Lord Self, Lord Self. And because some of them desire to be Lord and imitate the Supreme Lord, He allows them to enter into the cosmic creation with the option to fully utilize their potency to, lo to Lord is to it over nature. Uh, because of the presence of His part and the partial, 
the living entities, the entire phenomenal world is steered into action and reaction. Thus, the living entities are given full facilities to lord it, it over material nature, but the ultimate controller is the lord himself in his plenary feature of as Paramatma, the super soul who is one of the Purushas. Thus, there is a gulf of difference between the living entity Atma and the controlling Lord Paramatma. The soul and the super soul Paramatma is the controller and Atma is the control. Therefore, they are in different categories because the Paramatma fully cooperate with the Atma. He is known as the constant companion of, of the living being. Yeah, so, Jeeva like Atma, Jeeva, yeah, so like Jivatma is like Anu, infinitesimal. And Paramatma is Vibhu, infinite. So if you see, if you have to see through our eyes, no light is needed. If sunlight is, if sun is not there, we cannot see yes. through our eyes. And so like that, there are like, we, we need oxygen. Lord only supplying. Then only we are able to function. And the Lord only has to supply the strength. Then we can act. So Lord only supplies the fire. Fire for fire of digestion, then only we are able to digest. So in that way, our controllership and our ability to manipulate matter is very, very less. And it is also, it is controlled by the Lord. So that way. Okay, you can read the all-pervading feature. Uh, the all-pervading feature of the Lord, which exists in all circumstances of walking and sleeping, as well as in potency state, and from which the Jiva Shakti living force is generated as both conditioned and liberated soul is known as Brahman. Since the uh, Lord is origin of both Paramatma and Brahman, he is the origin of all living entities and all else that exists. Those who know, uh, know this engage at once in the devotional service of Lord. Such pure and fully uh, cognizant devotees of Lord are fully attached to him in heart and soul. And whenever such devotees assemble with their similar devotees, they have no engagement but the glorification of the Lord, transcendental activities. Okay, thank you. Can anyone guess the shloka? These are two shlokas, successive shlokas in Bhagavad Gita. 10th chapter, the Chatushloka. Okay, good. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava, Matta Sarvantarata. Yes. So, yeah, as Prabhupada is saying, those who know this engage means how Lord is the source of everything. So, you can just do this exercise. Six, yeah, you can take some around four minutes. You can list some ten ab objects that are very essential for your existence. And you can then see how they are provided, how they are or originated from the Lord. And then you can list some 10 objects which you are very, very dear to you, which you like. You can think and spend some four minutes, then we'll continue.
Yeah, this is just a exercise, not a discussion. So. So, yeah, if you see in the modern education, you see in the modern education, they ignore or they eliminate God from the picture. So that's why this gratitude, like it's natural that if we know that no somebody is giving us something, then naturally we give. We will feel grateful. That too, when we did not ask them and they are giving from their side. So, if, if people are aware that no God has created everything, then naturally they will, the question comes at least for those who are in Satuguna and all. And naturally they will become devoted to God. But yeah. we discussed in the previous verses also like how modern education eliminates uh, in different aspects uh, the information about God. Okay. Yes, bro, you can read those who are not perfect. Uh, those who are not perfect, uh, those who are not as perfect as the pure devotees, namely those who have realized only the Brahman or Paramatma feature of Lord, cannot appreciate the activities of perfect devotees. The Lord always helps the pure devotees by imparting necessary knowledge within their heart, and thus, out of His special favor, He dissipates all the darkness of ignorance. The uh, speculative philosopher and yogis cannot imagine this because they more and or less depend on their own strength as stated in the Kathopanishad uh, 1.2.23 the Lord can be known only by those who whom he favors and not by anyone else such special favors as bestowed upon his pure devotees only Shishopanishad thus points to the favor of the Lord which is beyond the uh, purview of Brahma Jyoti. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so uh, Vikshana Chagas Thakur's in the commentary to the verse Samashritaya Padapallava Palavam. So the whole material becomes like the hoof, hoof print of a calf, like the water contained in the hoof print of a calf. But yeah, Vikshana Chagas Thakur says for the jnanis and yogis, for them also it becomes but uh, the pride that no, I have done it. So that a small doership mentality may be there. So that, and they may fall in that small puddle of water of the hoof print. And that they may get trapped by that. But a devotee is, you know, like totally dependent on the Lord for his deliverance. Like, and uh, we'll, if we study in the ninth chapter of Bhagavad, eighth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, there is detailed description of when the yogi has to leave his body uh, in the Dakshinayan or uh, Uttarayan, uh, all the things, uh, where he has to sit and all. But for a devotee, it's like, no, uh, Lord tells, no, I, I, I take the responsibility of delivering you. So, that way. Okay, so... so Prabhupada basically explained how Lord takes care of the devotees and uh, also the analogy of the sun planet, sun globe, etc. Proper explain. Okay. We will go to the next verse. You can repeat after me. Vayur Anilam Amritam Vayur Anilam Amritam Athedam Basmantam Shariram Mathedam Basmantam Shariram Om Krato Smarakritam Smara Om Kratos Maram Kratam Smaram Kratos Mara Kratam Smara Kratos Mara Kratam Smara yeah, This is a, a prayer at the time of death. Means, yeah, so that that is the prayer this Rishi is offering. Let this temporary body be burned to ashes and let the air of life be merged with the totality of air. Now, O oh my Lord, please remember all my sacrifices. And because you are the ultimate beneficiary, please remember all that I have done for you. So this thing doesn't appear very pure devotional that Prabhupada explains in the purport. Yes, Prabhupada, you can read purport. The temporal material body is certainly a foreign dress. 
the bhagavad gita 2.20 clearly says that after the destruction of material body the living entity is not annihilated or uh, nor does he lose his identity the identity of living entity is never impersonal or formless on the uh, contrary it is the material dress that is formless and that takes a shape according to the form of indestructible uh, indestructible uh, person yes. yeah. yeah no no living entity is originally formless as is wrongly thought by those who are a poor poor find of found of knowledge this mantra verifies the fact that the living entity exists after the annihilation of the material body yeah like clothes also take the form of the body of the person who is wearing them so similarly the body takes the form of the living entity like uh, propa told that uh, who is wrongly thought by those yeah the living entity becomes formless or is originally formless mainly buddhists and advaitins buddhists uh, say that living entity is just consciousness and other things say it is brahman brahman is also formless etc yeah. uh, and here the word is foreign is told so how it is foreign because uh, living entity is spiritual and uh, the body is material so yeah so that quote is there we are spiritual beings having a human experience not human beings having a spiritual experience okay you can continue uh in the material world material nature displays wonderful workmanship by creating varieties of bodies for the living being according to their propensities for sense gratification the living entity who wants to taste stool is given a material body that is quite suitable for eating stool uh, that is that of a hog similarly one who wants to eat the flesh and blood Uh, of other animals may be given as a tiger's body equipped with the suitable teeth and claws but the human being is not meant for eating flesh nor does he have any desire to taste stool even in the most uh, aboriginal state human teeth are so made that they can chew and cut fruit and vegetables although there are uh, two canine teeth so that uh, primitive human can eat flesh if they so desire okay. but in any okay. yeah so the by design if you see the purpose means human beings are meant to eat vegetarian food but yeah only non vegetarian if they cannot overcome the desire means if they cannot uh, resist that desire or in emergency cases okay means uh, every body also it is designed for a particular purpose Yes, means according to the purpose, the design varies. Like, 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 yeah. If you if you have to carry something, different bags are meant for different things. A laptop bag is designed for a particular purpose, but uh, to carry clothes, there is a particular different type of bag. So, yeah, so to carry valuables, there are diff- there is a different type of bag. So like that. Okay, yeah, can continue, but in any case. Yeah. but in any case the material bodies of all animals and men are foreign to the living entity they change according to living entity's desire for sense gratification in the cycle of evolution the living entity changes body one after another when the world was full of water the living entity took an aquatic form then he passed to vegetable life from vegetable life to worm life from worm life to bird life from bird life to animal life and from animal life to human form the highest development form is this human form when it is possessed of full sense of spiritual knowledge the highest development of one spiritual sense is described in this mantra one should give up the material body which will be the tune to ashes and allow the air to life merge into the eternal reservoir of air the living being activate uh, activities are performed within the body through the movement of different kinds of air known as samri as prana vayu the yogis generally study how to control air of the body the soul is supposed to rise from one circle to cir- of circle to another until it rises to the brahma randra 
the highest circle from the point of perfect yogi can transfer himself to any planet he likes the process is to given up one material body and then enter into another but the highest perfection of such changes occur only when the living entities is able to give up the material body altogether as suggested in this mantra and enter into the spiritual atmosphere where he can develop a completely type of complete different type of body a spiritual body which never has to meet death or change okay yes so proper explained the living entity actually you know transmigrates from one body to another but uh, darwin says the body the body evolves to another body but the living entity evolves and gets goes to another body it's not the body evolves to another body and uh, yeah the yogis thing uh, we will also study in sixth chapter of bhagavad gita where the he has to raise his pranavayu through breathing exercises and all and uh, if it exists from the brahma randra then he can go to the highest planet but uh, yeah. there is a picture no tabuji in that it is shown how he takes the air and then from the skull it is removed ha ha yeah yeah it is there it's there but uh, yeah propa says uh, uh, going to higher planets and getting a better body is not uh, uh, it's not worth Uh, it's better is to get a spiritual body like uh, within the prison like even if you go to a very high class prison but still you are staying in the prison only so even in prison if you are bound by golden shackles instead of iron shackles but still you are bound so the thing is you should get uh, your you should be uh, the bond should be untied means you should be freed from the bondage that is the important thing okay you can continue here in this in the material world here in the material world material nature forces the living entity to change his body due to his different desire of person's gratification this desire are represented in various species of life from germs to the most perfect material body those of brahma and the demigods all of these living entities have bodies composed of matter in different shapes the intelligent man sees oneness not in the variety of bodies but in the spiritual identity the spiritual spark which is part and parcel of supreme lord is the same whether he is in the body of dog hog or the body of a demigod the living entity takes it on different bodies according to his pious and wish wishes activities the human body is highly developed and has full consciousness according to bhagavad gita 7.19 the most perfect man surrender unto the lord after many uh, after many many lifetime of cultivating knowledge the culti- culture of knowledge reaches perfection only when the knower comes to the point of surrendering unto the lord the supreme lord vasudeva otherwise e- even after attaining knowledge of oneness spiritual identity if one does not come to the point of knowing that the living entities are eternal part and parcel of the whole and one uh, and can never become the whole one has to fall down again into the material atmosphere indeed one must fall down even if he has become one with the brahma jyoti yes, thank you Yeah, if the living entity develops a desire to become God, then he may have to fall down. Yeah. Even if he attains perfection in this body, if he gets that desire, that's why uh, our Acharya said that is the last snare of Maya also. Yeah. Yeah. So, based on different desires for sense gratification, like it depends upon the modes which we associate. भुंगते प्रकृति जान गुणन कारण गुण संगोस्य सदा सदियों में जन्म सु। So based on the mood which you associate सत्तो गुणा रजो गुणा तमो गुणा you develop such desires and accordingly you get such bodies। The like proper previously exp- explained if somebody wants to eat flesh then they may get a tiger body like that। yeah. According to the pious and vicious activities. 
and in the human boy in human body also to attain perfection one must take to devotional service that's why Prabhupada that is saying okay you can continue as you have learned from previous mantras yeah uh, as we have learned from previous mantra, the Brahma Jyoti uh, emanating from the transcendental body of Lord is full of spiritual sparks that are individual entities with the full sense of existence. Sometimes these living entities want to enjoy their senses and therefore they are placed in the material world to become false lords under the direction of the senses. The desire of lordship is the material disease of the living being for under the spell of sense enjoyment, he transmigrates through the various bodies manifested in the material world, becoming one with the Brahma Jyoti does not represent material knowledge, mature knowledge. Uh, just a minute. Okay. I yeah. cannot see. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Only by surrendering, surrendering unto the Lord completely and developing one's sense of spiritual service, does one reach the highest perfection stage. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, so Prabhupada is saying that uh, desire for the Lord, desire, desire to lord over the universe is the material disease of the living entity, and that makes him uh, go through different uh, bodies to transmigrate from birth after birth. Because one will desire, like if you see, uh, one may be a Brahmana, he may want to become Indra, then he may want to become Brahma. And he may want to become Shiva. So like that, he is entangled and wants. Like a, same, same like uh, if a person joins a company, he wants uh, to become, he wants to become team lead, you know, he wants to become manager and he wants to become project head. So so in that way, he's that keeps him in, you know, to work in the company harder and harder. So the same way the living entity is made, is kept in this material world harder and harder. You know. So that's what the, the material world doesn't have. In one sense, he is not literally bound, but no one wants to go out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions on what we discussed today? Okay. So... From this, we'll continue in the next class. Okay, Sony Mataji, have a question. Yes, Prabhupada. Uh, Prabhupada, we often see that uh, people don't have proper knowledge from the Shastra about Krishna. Mm -hmm. But in India, we see that they know Krishna. So, mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, they have uh, that uh, feeling like he is God. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we see that there are some uh, some humans who are born with less intelligence but somehow they are engaged in uh, bhakti not bhakti also they can't do that because of low intelligence mm -hmm. but they are somehow born in that environment their mm -hmm. uh, knowledge of krishna is there but they can't understand themselves mm -hmm. so what will be their position because they are free from sins but they are, I mean, they are not having that intelligence to co co commit sins. Mm -hmm. But still, they are somehow engaged, uh, maybe eating prasadam, maybe doing kirtan, just copying and all. How? What is the pity of those souls? They will get purified, but uh, by their karma, they are, may not be meant to... See, they can advance uh, in spiritual life. Means, one thing is... Scholarship is not a prerequisite for spiritual life. They can get taste in those activities itself, like uh, in serving dev devotees, and uh, they may have, they should have some faith in a advanced devotee. Uh, in uh, and through him, they they can get faith in the process of chanting and uh, process of deity worship, and they can advance. And if Lord desires. Then they may they may get uh, they may get in the next life better intelligence and all to understand philosophy, but uh, the taste they can get the taste in bhakti they can get by serving and all they can get purified and all, uh, and if they reach receive perfection then they can then they'll see the Lord in the spiritual world also. So, Prabhuji, then we see the example of Jer. In Shastra, there, uh, uh, 
uh, he was given the birth just to complete his remaining uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in that case he was not uh, showing his intelligence like he was, he was but he uh, has intelligence it's not like he doesn't have intelligence he has intelligence but he is not uh, he is acting as if he is not intelligent but uh, you are referring to people who don't have that capacity to understand yeah. philosophy and all. So that's but a different case. Use the word specially abled. I mean, they can't do anything on their own, but they are born in the devotee time. Uh, so they'll get Sukrati and they can get Shraddha. I mean, so in the in the to, in those things which they they are able to do. And oh, if they so get Shraddha, understood a step a step forward. Yeah, yeah, that is the way. And if they if they are they should get some faith in some devotee who has this intelligence. Like Ramanujacharya in his final instructions, he told, uh, "You can contemplate. You should contemplate on the meaning of the mantra Om Namo Narayanaya, and also should study Sri Bhashya. So like that, he told, or you serve you serve a personality who can do these things. So, like that, also he gave instructions. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yes. Okay, Yashras Prabhu, you have some question? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I have one uh, verse uh, when Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, if you, you are not get perfection in the yoga system, so you will get birth in the devotee family. Or Shruti Shri Matam Gehe Yoga Prashto Bhi Jayate. So as Mataji said, so uh -huh. what will be to the, that person? So maybe he will get uh, next birth into the devotee family where he get the perfect knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah means he will get further facility to further advance in his spiritual life. Now, yeah, will be devotee family or depends again what are his desires and you know, all that. Yeah, generally, if somebody has interrupted his devotional service, then uh, that other verse may apply that he may be born in, he may go to heavenly planets, etc. and may be born in a Sujinam Srimatam Gehe. If somebody is doing devotional service throughout life till the end of life, then he may be born in a devotee family. Means in the uh, house of yogis or Vaishnavas like that. But again, it this verse says Devotees will be born in devotee families, but it's not like everyone born in devotee families are devotees. Not the other way. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yeah. So, uh, my question is, when they fall down from the, uh, impersonate fall down from the Brahma Jyoti, so mm -hmm. what birth they took? Uh, I don't know. Means, uh, I have not come across about all those descriptions and all. This case okay. doesn't actually come under that. Come under the sixth mm. chapter case. Yeah. This is like, uh, at least as per what the description says, it is a, it is a contamination that has come after they attain perfection, not in the course of attaining perfection. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, who are supposed to give, who want to give shloka test, they can stay back. Others can proceed. Thank you very much, Shana Prabhupada. Thank Please. you very much, Prabhupada. Oh, should I stop the recording? Ah, yes, yes, you can stop.